What's going on with the YouTube? It's your boy 345 German. In today's video, we're gonna be letting y'all boys know what is it like to daily a Dodge Challenger RT. So, y'all boys probably like Germ. Is this your only car and shit? Like, do you got another car besides your RT and shit like that? And in today's video, we're gonna be letting y'all know that. So, yes, I do got another car, but the only car that I'm mainly driving right now is my RT, y'all. So, I am daily in the Emo 345. Or the 345 mobile whatever y'all want to call it and shit like that but um we gonna be explaining to y'all like how is it like to daily and shit like that we're gonna be explaining gas maintenance police um we're gonna be explaining like how bad is it to drive on the street pretty much anything and shit like that for for just the basics and all that so make sure y'all boys stick it to the end and we're gonna get y'all into this video man all right y'all so starting off with gas um as all I can see, I'm at a half a tank, and I say 102, but let me go to my stuff, y'all. So, right now, I'm only averaging 13.2 miles per gallon. That's actually higher than mine right now. I mean, that's actually high for me right now type shit, because mine usually is at the low 10s, y'all. It's usually at a 10.9 and shit like that. And um, gas for this car, y'all, y'all do. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Um, I'm filling up on my car at least like every two, two, three to four. Well, two, three and four days. It all depends on the week and shit. Depending on how much footage of shit I was getting and how many days I uh, left out and all that and shit like that. But I'm usually um, getting gas every two to three days. Sometimes three to four, depending and shit like that, y'all. So um, you gotta fill up constantly. You filling up with 89, not 86, y'all, because this is an RT instead of a the 87 y'all y'all will mess up y'all engine if y'all use 87 but yeah man uh gas is pretty much like i say like 370 a gallon and shit so i slap what i do is i put 30 dollars in it y'all so i put 30 dollars in it every two to three days and then i go back so pretty much if i was to fill it up and shit y'all pretty much be at like the 60 to 70 dollar range so that it pretty much like sum it up on a gas and shit that like that y'all yo so you're getting like 350 to four dollars a gallon based on what gas that you go to so starting off from 350 to four dollars a gallon and y'all gas is gonna range from anywhere from 10 to 13 to 14 to 15 miles per gallon and shit like that y'all and a full tank and this a get y'all like i said like 240 250 y'all so for rt it'll get y'all around like 240 to 250 but we're gonna hop on to the next topic man all right, man, so the next topic we're going to talk about is the theft, man. So y'all probably like, uh, Germ, do you got a kill switch in there? Do you got a steering wheel lock in there? What do you got to keep it protected and shit like that, y'all? So um, what I do is I got a garage, so obviously I park it in there every night and shit like that. And I try to avoid to going anywhere to where I'm going to have to leave my car outside every night or well, all night. So, um... If you say if like you spending the night of your cousin house or something like that, y'all, I would avoid parking my shit outside because you know what I'm saying. I, I just know the risk of my car and shit like that, y'all. Even though my car is just the RT, it still got that nice body style look and shit like that. So you where it'll still make you think it's a scat until you get up close to it, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? From a distance, it'll look like a scat unless you could tell by the Brembos on the hood and shit like that. But um. Theft, yeah, man. Theft on these cars is real crazy and shit. It's real easy to get into them. They can push them. Or they can go ahead and make a new key for it and shit like that, y'all. But I ain't never had to deal with nothing so far so good. So we're going to cross my fingers and just hope nothing happened just yet. Or at all and shit like that. But, yeah, man. The theft is real crazy on these cars. And you will want to go ahead and get you a steering wheel lock, a kill switch, probably a steering wheel cover. Um, park out in the garage if you do have a garage You know just main shit like y'all you know what I'm saying just pretty much hide your car Or if you're not hiding your car make sure you got as much security as possible on it because the stop uh, security Y'all see it. It's easy for them to steal it so they can get past it and shit like that y'all so Go ahead and make sure y'all like your cars and shit like that and then we're gonna hop on to another topic man All right y'all and I don't know if y'all can see this but Daily driving, if you daily drive your Dodge Challenger RT, I don't know if y'all know, but if you keep it in street mode, your car is stuck in four cylinder mode, y'all. So hold on, let me not, let me take it off of paddles and shit. As I'm driving, y'all, 
if y'all look in the middle, it say four cylinders, y'all. So if y'all driving a street mode, your car only be driving in four cylinders, four cylinders instead of the full eight, y'all. Y'all know y'all got eight cylinders as a V8. So y'all supposed to be driving in eight cylinders instead of four, y'all. So keep that in mind when y'all driving in street mode, in eco mode and stuff like that, y'all. Your car is not as it's not at its full potential, y'all. So y'all always want to change that. Let me see if I can get it on screen for y'all, boys. Um. Uh, y'all can't really see it when I catch it. I'm gonna show y'all again. Oh, yeah, there you go So yeah, y'all when y'all driving it in, in default street mode or eco mode y'all keep that in mind um, That it will mess up your engine and shit like that y'all So when y'all daily in it and shit like that y'all y'all also try to want to keep it in sport mode and shit like that But I feel all it's taking like short distances and shit like that It's cool to drive it in uh, sport mode. Well, not sport mode in default and eco and shit like that y'all So keep that in mind but yeah, like I said, let's go ahead and hop onto the next topic for y'all boys, man. And we're gonna talk about the police though this time. All right, man. So like I said, I'm gonna put it on sport mode because it's on four cylinders instead of eight. The full potential and shit like that. And it's it's putting stress on your engine and shit like that because like I said, it's not running on eight cylinders as it's supposed to be. But police, so y'all like germ, how many times did you get pulled over? How many tests did you go on? Um, did you ever get pulled over on your tent? Have you ever got pulled over for speeding? shit like that y'all so me personally for whatever reason i don't know how but i always somehow end up catching the police to where i always slow down and shit to where i'm catching up to them and shit or if i'm going towards them and shit so i never got no speeding ticket for my car just yet and i owned it for about like a good eight to nine months it's one of the two eight to nine one of the two y'all but i never got pulled over just yet so um like i said it is a loud car y'all i got a straight pipe too so Y'all hear it and shit, but it is straight piped and shit. I'm I'm just not sure on how I never got caught and shit like that. But I have got pulled over about my tail light tent, y'all. So y'all probably wondering like what the fuck? Out of all things, y'all, I got pulled over for my tail light tent before I even got pulled over for my tent on my windows, y'all. I literally got pulled over because my uh they thought my tail lights wasn't on because of how dark they is and they got the black tent and shit. And they did not think that it was on, y'all. So, um, I pretty much only got pulled over for those type of reasons and shit like that. Yeah, man. It's like, I got pulled over for my taillight tent. And that shit had me real confused. I, when I got off the car, y'all, and I turned around to look and see if my taillights was on. They was definitely on. They just look real dark during the day and shit, of course. But, um, yeah, man, the police... They is gonna follow y'all and shit too, y'all, just because these cars is a high, uh, it's a high percentage of them getting stolen and shit. So most of the time they gonna follow you to see if it's a stolen uh, plate and shit like that, a van and shit like that. They just wanna make sure it's all good and shit. But, um, let me roll up the windows. God damn. But y'all, um, other than that, I had no bad record with the police and shit in my car so far. It's so good, y'all. Other uh, than my tail light tent. And yeah, man. We're going to hop on to the last one. And we're going to talk about like maintenance and shit. Charles, so, so far since I had the car, y'all. Um, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I done had some problems with my shit. My little lemon and shit. But uh, I done had to replace a couple of sensors. Not a couple. But I done had to replace two sensors. Um, I had to replace my crankshaft sensor before and I had to replace my camshaft sensor y'all Hold on I had to lock in for y'all Hold on I had to lock in and turn the cam show y'all the POV and shit as I'm driving But um Y'all I had to replace my crankshaft sensor and my camshaft and my camshaft sensor so far since I had my car and I don't have to do my whole damn near front end, y'all. Y'all seen I just did a rebuild video on me doing my front end and shit. Um, go tap into that video if y'all didn't tap in. It's in my bio. But um, I had to get my control arms done, my lower control arms done, ball joints, all types of shit, y'all. My shit was low-key messed up. It was fucked up real bad. But I'm low-key glad I got my baby back running and shit to how it's supposed to. But other than that, y'all, besides my front end, and my sensors and shit. Y'all, this car been this car been real good at y'all. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. It's a real fun, fast car. You get the V8 grumble. 
It moved faster than Molex. So your daily cars, as y'all can see, look at all these daily cars, as y'all can see, y'all gonna burn all of these. If y'all just looking around and shit, looking for the parking lot to find a car to burn, you're gonna burn half of these cars on the lot because, you know what I'm saying, it's, none of these cars really got a V8. But, you know what I'm saying, you get that grumble, um, it's still loud and shit, and it can still hold up with scats a little bit, but from the distance, they gonna beat you and shit. But that's all right and shit, you know what I'm saying? You didn't get the sketch, you got the RT, you know what I'm saying? You had, you know that you got a lower amount of horsepower, a lower amount of torque and shit like that. But um, we gonna pretty much end the video off here, man, because um, I pretty much tried to explain everything I could about daily in one of these and like um, what's the good and what's the bad. But we gonna end the video right here for y'all boys, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe, and we gonna catch y'all in the next video, man. Peace. Look at my rack solid. I see the grass getting long. Snakes, I'm gonna mow it. I'm gonna blow like brown. Racks on me, I'm sorry. Talk here, top of the morning. I'm in the car, got motion. Bib ain't rocking.